Welcome. In this session, we will talk about the important questions for your NTSC SAT examination. As promised in the last class, where we had touched about the important topics, here we will be bringing about some of the important questions which form the part of the various questions. So let's start with science first. Under the section on physics, for example, if you have a question on magnetism and electricity, uh, we would find the equivalent resistance uh, if they are connected in series, as we have already talked about. So resistance when connected in series parallel is one of the questions similar goes for capacitance which works inverse of resistance then you can have various motors and in which motor what kind of uh, uh, magnets are used what kind of electricity is being generated are uh, kind of common questions how do you convert DC to AC AC to DC is another important question that could come up similarly for motion and force a common question is uh, finding out the area under the acceleration time graph so that basically works around with the changes in the velocity so that's one of the questions then you have various bodies that are given the ratio of the bodies are given so what you need to know about is let's say uh, a simple formula for kinetic energy so if you have the masses the proportion of the masses that are known the ratio of the kinetic energy is known you might be asked to find out the ratio of the velocities or the ratio of the masses vice versa so the basic standard formulas you must be uh, very clear of and those should be on your tips similarly you have the formula for the gravitational force that could be worked around for light and sound you have various questions uh, where you could be given an experiment you could be said that you have a light ray falling and then you have a diffraction that taking that's taking place so it shows a change in the medium the change in the medium is again governed by whether the material is more dense less dense so the relative density is again important then from the prism uh, the angle of uh, uh, minimum deviation could be asked you could have uh, questions on sound where could you could be asked about let's say a piano or a kind of vibrator and then you could be asked to find out the time or the frequency so those are the questions that could be asked in the section on light and sound when it comes to solid liquid gases you could have uh, questions where you have a body is floating on water for example glacier is floating on water one eighth is above water seven eighth is below water then uh, similarly if you have an hygrometer what would happen so whether the hygrometer would float or not would be a kind of question so density of the liquid finding the density of the liquid could be another question then if you have a ice that starts to melt whether the volume of the water would increase or decrease could be kind of questions that could be asked the next is chemistry mole concepts are very very important less important for your stage one very much important for your stage two so you have lots and lots of questions on mole calculation molar concepts become very very important so let's say for example a sample contains so and so of uh, uh, magnesium carbonate molecules what would be the molar mass if there is plasmolysis that is taking place what would be the result so osmosis reverse osmosis plasmosis are some of the other questions that are being asked which of the following is a base which of the following is an acid differentiating a acid base uh, doing a acid base reaction finding oxidation number are kind of common questions then you could have simple experiments where let's say you are asked about diluting a ferrous sulfate into a beaker and uh, adding uh, permanganate solution to it the color changes so what is the result so what kind of reaction takes place could be kind of another questions periodic uh, classification periodic tables we have already discussed how there are questions on periodic table symbols of the basic elements are being asked since it's a class 10th level examination the questions are simpler from the section on periodic table there is not much depth of spdf block that is there for the stage 2 examination definitely so stage 1 has relatively simple questions then within the periodic table what is the order so the order of electronegativity the atomic size the atomic radius how the things changes in the uh, periodic table are some of the other questions then the electronic configuration the electrons protons and neutrons in the various elements could be the question what is meant by anode a, dio, uh, a cathode uh, what is meant by positive charge whether it's taking an electron it's leaving an electron could be another questions then you have displacement reaction double displacement reaction the equations for those which become important sometimes there could be question where you have 
two components that are being mixed or two elements that are being mixed what would be the compound that would be formed or you could have an uh, equation that's given with certain criteria and you have an element x or y that comes towards the end what is x or what is y that you have to find out similarly isomers are again very very important so optical isomers and isomers uh, chiral compounds are some of the common questions that are being asked when it comes to biology the questions are much more simpler uh, much more direct so if you have read your 9th and 10th carefully you would be able to answer the very basic questions on human physiology similarly you have questions on kingdom uh, the animal kingdom and the plant kingdom so the classification uh, within the reptilia amphibia mammalia so the different characteristics of each of the groups the different properties and the different groups are important uh, circulatory system is very very important uh, how circulatory system uh, basically lungs and heart are connected where does the purification actually occurs so those are some of the common questions that occur then uh, genetics evolution are another important sections uh, for example, uh, you have a water soaked gram seed. What is the structure that remains? So you have to understand the various parts of the seed. That's one of the questions. The adaptations for the terrestrial life, the accommodation, uh, the accumulation of the non-biodegradable substances and biodegradable substances, the various types of drugs, the viral, the antiviral, uh, sorry, the antiviral, the antibacterial, anti-inflammatory. So all those categories of drugs, uh, the diversity in the living organisms, the structure of brain, nervous system, neurons uh, are again important. So cellular organization, some common diseases, the deficiency of various vitamins and minerals is important. When it comes to history, let's say if it's a French Revolution, you can be asked about Jacobian clubs, you can be asked about tripe, uh, the tripartite pact. Uh, industrial revolution was important what were the various machines uh, the spinning wheel who invented it uh, you have the Gutenberg printing press vernacular press act was passed uh, printing how it became important why what was the role of paper uh, when it comes to independence movement you have the Khilafat movement non-corporation movement civil disobedience movement establishment of Swaraj party then you have uh, the socialist party uh, RSS being established this year you have Sardar Patel, uh, the Statue of Unity being inaugurated, so that becomes very very important. The life of uh, Sardar Vallabhbhai Patel, the developments in the medieval period are again important. Similarly, you have uh, the various uh, developments in the Vietnam. So Vietnam was an important part of the world history, World War I and World War II, the impacts on India and the contribution to the world, uh, the industrial revolution, the process of industrial revolution, the Vedic period, the Upanishads and the four Vedas, the role of various religious communities coming up. So the uh, development of Hinduism, Buddhism, uh, the Vedic Shastra. So all those becomes very, very important then UN and international agencies you have to match the headquarters so questions on matching the headquarters is one of the important type of questions then recently you had uh, an Indian being appointed to the International Court of Justice so International Court of Justice becomes important for India uh, when it comes to geography you have the various rivers the various dams and their location the new dams that have been established uh, Majuli Island recently was in news has been important Parli Island in Lakshadweep recently vanished off because of the water level changes uh, that has been important so atmospheric changes biospheric changes the various layers of atmosphere are important ozone if present in the upper uh, layers acts as uh, protective layer and protects the harmful ultraviolet rays if it's in the lower layers it acts as a pollutant similarly this time Delhi smog is important so we have a separate lecture where we have covered the Lancet Commission and Delhi smog that's really really important uh, then we have the various revolutions the green revolution the pink revolution this time you have sweet revolution honey revolution uh, that's basically the development in the apiculture so honeybee uh, cultivation and honey uh, production is something that's being focused under sweet revolution who was the propounder the basic followers uh, the basic people who led the various revolutions are again important then uh, the idea of 
the soil and the cultivation on the different soil so which soil is suitable for which kind of crops is again something that's really really important india you can understand the physiography of india the climate of india the monsoon pattern the al nino uh, and the la nina the walker circulation that's really really important for you specifically for stage 2 gmt and time zone calculations again very very important rotation revolution and questions related to uh, the calculation of rotation and revolution is again important then you have the population so you must be familiar with census 2010 so uh, all the data for census 2010 the state with the highest population the least population highest literacy lowest literacy those are the kind of common questions what is the working age group what is the dependent age group what is the dependency ratio those are the common questions that come up when it comes to political science we have the questions related to uh, the constitution the federation zero hour question hour uh, then you have the statutory bodies the non-statutory bodies we have two lectures on these separate so just go through that panchayati raj system the ashok mehta committee becomes very very important the three tire system then you have the amnesty international and the international court of justice which are very very important uh, we have the three pillars that's the judiciary executive and legislature as we already talked about the appointment of the prime minister president governor chief minister uh, the attorney general the solicitor general of india all those are very very important the eligibility age the conditions for termination and retirement are again important when it comes to economics we have the taxation system so direct taxes indirect taxes this time gst becomes very very important Con Contribution of Niti Aayog, role of Niti Aayog versus Planning Commission, the various types of banks, the nationalized banks, the commercial and the non-commercial banks. Then you have the various bank deposits, the time deposits that are important, uh, the various submits that have been recently held. Then what is uh, COPRA is the kind of question related to consumer rights. When it comes to mathematics, we have already covered some of the questions in the last class. Uh, here, let's say if it's an integer, you have a uh, uh, equation that's given and then you have to find out x square plus 1 by x square value then you have two positive numbers two equations with two variables that are given and then uh, you have to find out the two equations with two variables you have the values the equation that's given with a single variable and you are asked to calculate the various factors for the equations calculating hcf and lcm of the expressions are really really important simplifying uh, a sequence in a series question is again something that's very very important uh, then you have the questions where you have a value of x that is given and then you have to calculate x square plus 2x plus 3x so that's a kind of quad, uh, conversion into a quadratic equation finding out the various values becomes important the direct and the inverse ratio uh, working around with the unity problems is again important Statistics and probability is a common section that's being asked. So let's say a bag has five blue balls, four black balls. You randomly pick out two balls. What is the probability the ball would be red or black would be a kind of common question that would be asked. Parallelogram, you are asked to calculate the areas. Then you have the class 10th geometry. That's very, very important. So you have AC plus, a, uh, plus AB is 5 AD and then you have the other equation that's given so the various dimensions that are given and then you are asked to find out the area of the rectangle or the area of the parallelogram so those are the kind of common questions that come up for the square roots and the cube roots you need to know the perfect squares and the perfect cubes and that would go well with the cube roots and the square roots as well trigonometry simplification of the basic trigonometry functions and heights and distances are some of the common questions that are part of trigonometry so you have questions on heights and distances where you have a balloon that flies off the angle of elevation from a top of a tower to the balloon and then you have to find out the tan value or the tan theta and so on uh, similarly we have problems on triangles and circles that are being asked so the ratio of the two sides of the equilateral triangle are given we have to calculate the height algebraic equations are given we have to simplify those algebraic equations then sometimes you have the arithmetic progression series that's given you have to find out the ratio between the sixth term and the eighth term or uh, any such uh, values then sometimes you have the volume and the surface area that's given you are asked to find out the various dimensions uh, you have questions on cuboids calculation of the area and the volume for a cylinder the surface area and the volume for the cylinder simple interest and compound interest are other questions now compound interest is again applicable to the growth rate of a population in a village or a city 
so those are kind of common questions that are asked from your mathematics section so we would be having all these questions in the handout so just go on to the exam race to check out the handouts for the sample questions the type of the questions that are being asked and what you need to prepare what are the specific areas that are really really important for your upcoming examination have a great day ahead